Hello YouTube, today we're going to learn how to fix an auto dim mirror that doesn't work properly, either the lights don't work, the auto dim function doesn't work, and in some models, the compass, or any other feature that requires electricity. Now, in my case, the auto dim is intermittent, and the map lights no longer work at all. Now I figured out the issue and how to fix it because if I reach in the back and wiggle it around the lights will flicker. So what you're going to need is a soldering iron, you're going to need some kind of solder, so you're going to need flux, and a prying tool because you got to crack the thing open. You're also going to need an allen key, possibly. Some models are snap-on. You'll have to figure that out yourself. They can be a pain to get off. I already have mine loose. So, just lift that off. Whoops. It just kind of hangs by the wire, so... Get our tools to the side. I've already popped mine open previously so it's a le little easier to snap open now. But what you're going to do, I've already taken the lenses off to make the video a little shorter. They just pop out. The whole thing just pops apart. You're gonna, you would need a prying tool simply because a mirror that's never been taken apart is very hard to pry open. But your problem lies right here in this connector. Again, I've already made preparations, so this is a lot easier, but all this white stuff is an adhesive, and it's kind of difficult to remove the board for the first time. But I just got a plas piece of plastic under it and pried it up. On the other side, you may not be able to see it in the video, but right here is a strip of solders that go all the way through the PCB. And I look closely and most of them are cold solder joints. That's why when you wiggle it, they get a temporary connection and they'll work. The lens is a little dirty. So, the next step requires adding flux to the connection. I need to put the camera down for a minute. Right. Dab a little on your finger. And just wipe it on the connection. I don't have a way to hold this camera, so bear with me. And there you are, your connections are fluxed and you can begin soldering. Whoops, missed one. Remember, this does apply to a lot of different electronic mirrors because they all have the same connector and from a few years of being adjusted, it just kind of bends the solder connections and basically breaks them. So now all you have is to take an iron, take your wire. I'm using actual leaded solder. And we'll pause the video. And there you go. What you have now is very healthy solder beads. Oh, camera finally decided to zoom in properly. And then just while I was soldering, as soon as I went to retouch them, 
all the solder sunk straight through the board which means they hardly use any solder so when you solder be nice and heavy with it it'll last a lot longer that way so we're getting ready to test the mirror now all right i have it hooked into the harness now and that light works don't do that that light works too and if we go to the ignition and turn the accessory on my auto dim LED should light up voila it's again a fully functioning mirror it works like it should and you just follow the same process for reassembling the mirror put everything back together the way you took it apart thanks for watching Hope it helps everybody.